The Global Combat Air Program GCAP, a collaborative initiative between Italy, the United Kingdom and Japan to develop a sixth-generation stealth fighter jet, is on the verge of expanding to include a new and highly influential partner, Saudi Arabia. This potential partnership was confirmed by Italian Foreign Minister Antonio Tajani in a statement released on November 27, 2024, sparking a wave of speculation about the future direction of the program. The inclusion of Saudi Arabia could reshape GCAP transforming it into a truly global defense venture and aligning with the kingdom's ambitions to lead the charge in defense innovation. This move comes at a time when both GCAP and its primary competitor, the Future Combat Air System, FCS program, led by Germany, France and Spain, are both seeking to broaden their partnerships. While FCS already counts Belgium as a member, Saudi Arabia's participation in GCAP would significantly boost the program's industrial and strategic positioning on the global stage. Launched in December 2022, GCAP is an ambitious program aimed at developing an advanced fighter jet to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon and Mitsubishi F-2 fleets by 2035. The program's partners, the UK, Japan and Italy, are each contributing their own expertise and technological advancements. The UK's Tempest project, Japan's FX program, and Italy's defense industry are key components of the initiative, with major industry players such as BAE Systems, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and Leonardo actively contributing to the design and development of the next-generation fighter. The GCAP program is driven not only by the need to replace aging fighter aircraft, but also by the necessity of countering emerging threats from countries like China and Russia. It also serves as a vehicle for driving technological innovation within the participating nation's defense industries, thereby strengthening their strategic defense capabilities and ensuring they remain competitive in the rapidly evolving global defense landscape. If Saudi Arabia were to join GCAP, the kingdom's involvement would offer significant advantages to the program. First and foremost, Saudi Arabia could provide crucial financial resources, which are essential for a project of such scale. The GCAP is estimated to cost tens of billions of dollars, and Saudi Arabia's considerable financial clout could help ensure the initiative's success. Additionally, Saudi Arabia's participation would offer the GCAP partners access to one of the most lucrative markets for advanced fighter jets. The kingdom has been steadily modernizing its military and defense industries, and its investment in cutting-edge defense technologies aligns with the country's broader strategic objectives. By joining GCAP, Saudi Arabia would not only reinforce its military capabilities, but also gain access to new technologies that would enhance its defense autonomy. Furthermore, the partnership could strengthen diplomatic and strategic ties between Saudi Arabia and the existing GCAP members. It would also present an opportunity for Saudi Arabia to further develop its domestic defense industry, as it seeks to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers and foster innovation within its own borders. While Saudi Arabia's inclusion in GCAP could bring substantial benefits, it may also introduce several challenges. One of the key hurdles would be managing the differing interests of the existing and prospective partners. Each of the countries involved in GCAP has its own defense priorities, industrial policies, and strategic goals, and aligning these diverse interests could prove to be complex. Moreover, political considerations surrounding Saudi Arabia's regional activities could generate internal debates within the GCAP framework. While the kingdom's growing influence in global defense markets is undeniable, its involvement in certain geopolitical conflicts could spark criticism, particularly from Western governments. These factors may complicate the governance of the program and pose risks to the cohesion of the partnership. For Japan, the potential expansion of GCAP represents a unique opportunity to assert greater technological autonomy. Since World War II, Japan has largely relied on U.S. technology for its combat aircraft, but with the GCAP initiative, Japan is signaling a shift towards closer collaboration with European partners. This development not only reinforces Japan's desire for greater independence in defense technology, but also strengthens its strategic alliances with key European nations. Saudi Arabia's potential entry into the Global Combat Air Program could have far-reaching implications for the future of international defense collaborations. If confirmed, this expansion would not only offer significant economic and industrial benefits but would also reshape the strategic dynamics within global defense partnerships. However, Success will depend on the ability of all stakeholders to navigate the complexities of such a diverse and multifaceted collaboration. As GCAP continues to evolve, it may soon become the cornerstone of a new era in global defense, one where countries from different regions work together to develop cutting-edge technologies and address shared security challenges. 
Whether GCAP can maintain cohesion and deliver on its ambitious goals remains to be seen, but the inclusion of Saudi Arabia could certainly accelerate its transformation into a truly global initiative.